Well, good morning, everyone. Trust everyone's having a good day. I'm going to jump right into today's devotion uh, on Thursday, October the 27th. October is about gone. But anyway, uh, entitled today's uh, devotion, uh, Mission, to Know Him and Make Him Known. And, of course, that's been the title of Brother TJ's sermon series that he's been doing and um, have greatly enjoyed that. We enjoyed the devotions from everyone this week. Um, kindly following suit with some of the ones that's already talked um, on the theme, but I, I want to look more at the, the name of the series here. And of course, Brother TJ this past week was in Psalms. Uh, and we'll look at Psalms 139 uh, verses 13 through 16. It says, for thou hast possessed my reins. And of course, uh, we've talked and preached on this before, and the reins, um, riding horses is very important. Uh, it is what gives you the control, okay? And so for Psalms 139, David here is saying, you know, God, you're you're in control. You've covered me in my mother's womb. So from the very get-go, um, God's hand has been upon us. We wasn't a freak of nature. We're not a mishap. We're not an accident. We're not a you know, um, science that went wrong and something happened that they can't explain. Um, we are made by the hands of the father. Um, so he covered us in our mother's womb says, and I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well. And so when we look at that in the, um, fearfully and wonderfully made, um, you know, it's kind of like having a, a new vehicle. Um, it's easy to be proud of that vehicle when it's brand new, when it's off the lot, when it's able to be shined up and it's, you know, um, Brother Rocky or Brother Denny, uh, Yuri's qualifications there of, you know, it, it's shining. It looks good. Um, but what happens when it gets a couple of dings in it, a couple of dings of life uh, in our in our own life? You know, it, it doesn't change the um, outlook, okay? For a car, yeah, it would depreciate in value when it's been beat and banged and been in a wreck. Um, but that's because it is going to be worked on by a earthly mechanic. But when we think about our own lives, a lot of times we look at it in the same uh, way we would look at a car. You know, that it's had some dings, it's got some wrecks. Uh, it's been involved in some wrecks. It's, it's got some problems. But the thing about us is that we can take our life to a master mechanic, our heavenly father. Um, and it's going to be, you know, when he when he take, brings us out of the shop, it's going to be brand new again. You know, he says, old things pass away. I make all things new. Um, it says, my substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret. And curse, curiously wrought in low parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect. And so, again, you know, I know so many people that we struggle, myself, I struggle. Um, the times when, you know, I've made a mess out of it, you know, and, and there've been times in my past that I've made some big mistakes. And, you know, and you don't want to go out, you don't want, you don't want people to know, uh, or, or people do know, and you don't want to go out. Um, but the thing about it is, is that we have to remember, you know, people is going to always have their opinions of us. People's always going to want to remember our old, our old self, but you got to remember who's the master mechanic. You know, he's going to take out those dents. He's going to take whatever's wrong and he's going to make it better than you. Um, and so it's the same thing with the car. You take that car and you're taking it out and you're showing it off. You know, yeah, there might be some people say, well, I remember when that car before it was restored, it was just an old piece of junk. It was a clunker, um, you know, but look at it now. And, and there's a song out there that, you know, look what you've done. And it talks about our past, not perfect. None of us have a perfect past, but we think about what it is. You know, it says right here, yet being unperfect, he knew us in all of our mistakes. He knows us in all of our mistakes, you know. Um, but the good news about it is he loves us anyway. 
from the very get-go, Christ knew us. He fashioned us in our mother's womb, and he knows us. He knows our good. He knows our bad, and he loves us anyway. All right? And so <clears throat> came across this slide uh, that I'd used a long time ago, several years ago, um, and I know who I am. The problem with it is, as I said before, about wanting to stay out of the light or worry about what people might say about us is when we're worried about what they say, okay? But remember what we're talking about, Brother TJ's uh, title, to know him. What does Christ say about us? Christ says, we're loved by the Father, John 17, 23. It says, I'm being transformed into the likeness of the Lord, 2 Corinthians 3, 18. I'm a child of God, Galatians 3, 26, an ambassador for Christ. I'm forgiven. I'm alive to live alive to God in Christ Jesus. I'm delivered. I'm accepted. I'm freed from all things. That means the guilt of the past. I'm bought with the price. I'm made alive. I'm loved. I'm blessed. I'm no longer a slave to sin, sanctified by truth. I'm the Lord's. Uh, I'm the light of the world. I'm the salt of the earth. All these things the Bible says about us. Why? Because of the good we've done? No, but because of who he is. And so the first part of the title of the series, to know him, the best way to come overcome guilt of our past, shameful things that we've done in our past life is to know him better. Because when we know him, we know that he casts our sins as far as the east from the west to remember them no more. And if he doesn't remember them, it doesn't really matter if people want to remind us occasionally of the devil that we used to be or the mess ups that we've had in the past. We can say that's true, but I'm a new child. Christ takes all things and makes them new. And we end with this right here. Ephesians 2, uh, 10, for we are his workmanship. We're still a work in progress. Don't get bummed out when you mess up. Christ is going to continue to work on us. We are created in Christ Jesus unto good works. That's the whole purpose. That's the reason he created us. Okay, so, uh, you know, a bad break or a mess up here or there doesn't kick us to the curb. Okay, they might put us back in the shop and he's working on us. But the reason for it is, is because he's got plans for us. Good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Guys, this morning, if you're struggling with your past, I invite you to come and know him. Know him more not been saved long, or maybe you've been saved a long time and you forgot who he was. Maybe you're more worried about your sins and your past than the one who created you. These scriptures that we've shared says he's known all about it from the very get-go. He knew you was going to make a mess out of it before you made a mess out of it, but he loves you anyway, and he's willing to work. His grace and his mercy is there, and the purpose for the grace and the mercy is to get us back so that we can do the second part of the service, of the message to make him known, but we can't make, we can't until we know him, we can't make him known. So I pray that you will get involved in the word, that you will get involved in, in prayer um, and develop a good habit of prayer in your life so that you can truly know this great and awesome God that we serve. And then you'll concentrate more on him and less on the mess that you might've made of your own life. We love you. Pray that you got something out of this today and we look forward to seeing you this Sunday.